How did the game go today? Uh, we won. Um, it wasn't, uh, I don't think, our best performance. Um, credit EKU and their system of making it really hard for us to be able to combine in our half to be able to kind of set up opportunities going forward. So um, really got our, I think got us out of a little bit of a rhythm that we couldn't get ourselves going. Um, but, but hey, we were able to create a couple of really good opportunities um, and um, really nice goal at the end of the first half. And then of course the, the penalty at the end. So felt like we deserved quite a few of those this year and finally got one today. Who were some of the key players? Uh, Kelly continues to do so much for us in midfield, uh, creating opportunities, um, chasing people down. She does so much. Um, you know, the Trace's goal was excellent, um, just like we had talked about. Uh, we were even talking about it through the run of play of letting them know Kelly's going to get it. She's going to open. You got to be running, and and uh, and there it was. And and then she was able to finish it. So that was a great goal. Um, Gabby continues to be uh, amazing, uh, giving us so much going forward, even from the back line and and, and shutting down their attacks. Um, uh, I, I could name almost everybody. Um, I thought they 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 put their heart out there, you know, and and worked extremely hard all the way to the end. And um, I think that's fitting on a day like today when we're thinking about so many people that are you know affected by breast cancer specifically, and um, and to have um, a performance today that's not pretty, but it gets the job done. I think is really fitting. How are you all feeling about the next game? Uh, we got a long road trip uh, heading down to Florida. Um, I think uh, Jacksonville's first, um, so we'll get busy on that this week, figuring out what they do and, and what we need to do to be successful in the games. But um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to continue to play and um, you know three to three more to finish out the regular season, um, and so hopefully um, beyond that into the tournament. We got to start playing a little better, I think, heading to the tournament. How are y'all feeling about that? I mean, is it? I don't know if it's too early to start thinking. But. Well, I think you got to start thinking about it about this time. I don't know that it's a lock yet, but I feel like we're sitting in a good spot. I know that um, I think Lipscomb tied uh, Florida Gulf Coast today, so that puts us in second by ourselves um, and still with a tiebreaker ahead of Gulf Coast. So I think we're in a pretty good spot to get in there. Um, but um, I think our main focus has got to be playing better going into that tournament than we, than we maybe did this weekend. So we've got results, but I think we need to play a little better. Did you change anything on defense after that goal? You're kind of locking down at the last 15 or so. Um, not really. Um, I think we just got a little bit more mindful of making sure that their midfielders weren't in front of us. Um, early on, in the, you know, they changed their system coming out and really put us under a lot of pressure. And, and we didn't do a very good job of getting the ball into the other half. Um, the times that we did, we really had some good opportunities to score, but we didn't put the game away. And I think that's what it takes, you know, in those moments where the other team has changed to try to chase the game and you're able to break that and you've got the opportunity to put the game out of, out of reach and, and we didn't. So it kept it, kept it close, kept it exciting for the fans, I guess. Uh, it actually felt really, really good. I feel like for the beginning of the season, I kind of struggled scoring or just like opening up in front of the goal. But I feel like the last couple games, I've kind of figured it out. And it's really helped to have a team that everybody's super encouraging and works around each other. And that's just been really great. How do you kind of keep your head like in the game and not get overwhelmed when you're Sometimes, sometimes I struggle with that. The last two games, I feel like I had a really hard time keeping myself calm, and I was very anxious going in. But I feel like for the most part, it really is the team. It makes it super. They they make it so easy to just be calm because no matter where you are, whether you're on the field or on the bench, we just have the most encouraging people, and I think that's just the easiest part about all of this. How do you think the the team played today, just overall? I th I think we've had better games, but I think everybody worked as hard as they could, and I think that really in the end is what matters is that everybody played th to the best of their ability today, and yeah. Do y'all have any like fun win rituals or anything? Any celebrations? I mean, okay, so when we were our first conference game in North Carolina, it's it's kind of a funny thing, but we are Marcella, our assistant coach, <laughs> she she said Charlotte instead of Charlotte. And so it just became a thing. It was like, chow, chow, Charlotte. And so now every time we win a game or something, we just, we're like, chow, chow, EKU. <laughs> like we say it every time we win or something. Yeah, that's, I mean, but we have, and then we have our bear hat that we give to, somebody gets it and then they get to give it to the next person after they, like every game to just the person they feel like has been super like consistent and encouraging and a great leader, yeah. Awesome. What are you, how are y'all feeling about the next game? Um. 
Well, I mean, I think good. I think tomorrow's going to be a good day to have a day off for everybody to just get some rest and their bodies recover. But I feel like one of our big things that Jeremy encourages us with is that we're not looking ahead at what's after, but we're always just looking at the next game. So I think we're feeling good. I mean, it's on the road, so that's always, of course, something that's a little bit harder. But I think everybody's really excited. I'm excited. I like Florida. <laughs> Um, talk about your goal. I mean, it was a per near perfect pass from Kelly just mm -hmm. to lead you off of that way. Is that something y'all planned though? I think Jeremy kind of hinted that's kind of a... So we did. We've actually practiced that a lot. Um, that's something Kelly is really, really good at. She's got great field vision. Um, and I mean, they did multiple times. They did say to Kelly, like, hey, look for that pass. And so I feel like it's not necessarily something Kelly and I were like, oh yeah, let's do this. But I do feel like it, it is something Jeremy and Derek both encourage a lot. And so that worked out really well.